YouTube, what is going on, you guys? All right, man. Hope everyone's doing good, staying safe out there. Coming back at you here with another video with another mod here for the Ford Mustang. So, yeah, as you recall, in one of my previous videos, I installed two front struts on the Ford um, lip spoiler that we installed, right? And so, you know, I thought, damn, that looks really good, man. So, I really liked it. And so that's what we're gonna do here with the Mustang, man. We're gonna install some struts up here in the front. I'll show you how I'm going about this. Should be pretty much the same process. I already kind of took a look inside and uh, you know, we're gonna be going underneath as you can see the, 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 the bottom grill uh, section there. We're gonna go from underneath there and then go up to the top in order to secure that nut. And then on the very top lip underneath here, we're, you know, that's where I'm going to drill the hole for the strut to insert, you know, to come up and then reaching from behind, I will put the nut on it and then screw down the strut itself, right? And so that will secure it on the top. And then obviously on the bottom here, the bottom side, you know, we'll just drill some hole, a, a hole on the lip spoiler. So that way the strut is gonna, you know, kind of be angled out like this, right? Slightly like this, right? And on the other side going that way. So yeah, stay tuned, man. With that, I'm going to, um, you know, set up the tripod and then I'll show you how I'm gonna go about it. All right, stay tuned. All right, you guys. So before I begin, I thought I'd show you exactly, you know, how I'm doing this. I'm gonna reach from underneath here and then you're gonna feel some foam back there. Um, not exactly sure what it is, but then you're gonna feel this guy too. So if you go too far in this way, you're gonna feel this guy here. So just that little section down in here like this. So just, just before that crease, that's where you're gonna make the hole. So that way when you go up underneath like, like this, you're gonna hold that nut in between your fingers and then once you put the strut through there, you're gonna feel it so that you can put the, the nut up on top of it and just start threading your, your strut onto the nylon nut. All right, you guys, so here are the struts as you can see, and let me just take them out here. And you see that nylon nut, right? So this is a 10 millimeter, so you'll need a 10 millimeter wrench to, to hold it down. And this is what I was talking about in my previous video. So like a, something angled like an, an L shape. This was previously angled before. So obviously if you can angle this side here, make the L here uh, with the enclosed uh, 10 millimeter, that would be much better, but this will work. So you take this guy, right? And you're gonna bring it up in here. So when you have your nut up there, you can hold it down, right? You can hold it. That's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. and. Uh, let me try and set this up and then we'll get going. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, so we got the top holes drilled here. So I just kind of want to show you what it looks like. It's pretty close to that ledge. There's a little bit of space after it, but yeah, that's where you want to be because again, if you go too much forward, you know, if you're in the middle or, you know, too forward here, you're going to hit this guy, which goes beyond this ledge right so there's the hole there on this side and we got the hole over here on this side as well you see that so that is going to position the top one and then i'll you know once i get that strut on there it's going to come right around here the other side yep that's it you guys just wanted to show you stay tuned and i'll i'll put this guy on um together here i'll put this top side on first and once I get it done, you know, I'll come back and uh, show you how I'm going to drill this side here. All right, stay tuned. All right, you guys. So here, man, I just wanted to show you exactly, you know, what I'm talking about in terms of, you know, putting that wrench back there to hold that nut. So as you can see, I got it, you know, tight on there. This guy's not moving, man. So that's exactly what I'm talking about is, you know, you get that little wrench to come up from here. You got to go. You can't do it through this one. You got to go through the bottom. So now that we got this guy on here, now we can measure exactly where we're gonna, you know, make the hole over here on this side. So as you can see, it's gonna go roughly right around, you know, around there. So I will be making the hole exactly right there, right? 
obviously you'll thread the other nut down from underneath, right? So that way, you know, you can have, and you can position it differently. You know, you can make it here on the side, you can move it around, whatever, right? Some so cool with that. Again, I just wanted to show you, I'm gonna make the hole here. I'll install the other side, and then I'll give you a final look what it looks like, man. Stay tuned. All right, YouTube. We got it done, you guys. So check it out, man. What do you think, man? Does that work? Yeah, so the toughest thing is just that, that top nut, like I said, man, you got, cause you gotta reach underneath, you know, and kind of hold it and then twist it on. But you can do it, man, just a little bit of patience. And so what happened also is, uh, I should let you know, I did have to elongate that hole cause the hole was too far in against this ledge here. So if you can, you know, you can come up a little bit more in case if it's still too close to, you know, the far end, you can just kind of elongate that hole to come forward a little bit, right? And the reason being is because the base of this guy, so with the hole too close to that ledge back there, to that wall, the base hits it. And so it's kind of, you know, uh, it takes it to an angle, right? So I was able to kind of elongate that hole. Uh, and so as you can see now it's, you know, sitting, you know, nice and straight. It does make a huge difference because it does, um, you know, hold this whole section here really sturdy, super sturdy, super strong, nice and stiff. So again, you know, I had no issues with it, you know, flying off or anything like that, but it does make a difference where it, you know, it just holds it that much stronger on there. And it looks super cool, man. Check it out, you guys. It's a very simple mod. You know, it, you know, it takes a little bit of time, but, uh, you know, you don't have to take off the bumper. I've seen other videos where, you know, you take off the bumper and this and that, that's so much work. I've seen some other different type of struts, struts where you have to, you know, you drill into here, into this guy in the front, and then the strut comes out and then, you know, it attaches to your lip um, splitter, right? But to me, again, you know, if, like I said, for whatever reason, if you need to take it off, you're gonna be stuck with, you know, little holes there, so that's not cool. So, you know, with these little holes here up on the top side of, of this guy, you're never gonna see those, right? And so even if you take it off, you're never gonna see those holes unless, you know, you stick your head down under here and look up, you know, then, yeah, you'll see them. So with that, we'll finish it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Please like and subscribe and let me know your thoughts, man. Are you guys going to do it? Let me know if you do it, man. Right on, you guys. Stay safe. Peace.